Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Today I'm super, super mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today we have to share this new lesbian couple alert from the movie called Casando a Mi Ex. Basically, translation of that will be marrying my ex. Yes, we're gonna be talking about the relationship that actually happens between Lucia and Ramona. But before we get into further details, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also let me know your personal opinion down below in the comments as well. If you guys have watched this movie and what would you personally rate it from 1 to 10? And I also want to say that I've activated the super sticker to the channel just in case any of you would like to make a small donation. It will also help the channel, you know, basically go a very, very long way. So let's get right into further details regarding this movie. So basically, like I already said, the movie is called Casando Ami X. Basically, translation will be marrying my ex. You can actually watch this movie on Prime Video. Yes, it's actually very interesting. I actually enjoyed watching it. You know, it's in Spanish, but you don't have to worry. There is translations available when it comes to that. The movie is about a wedding planner who had a relationship with a man and they end up breaking up. Now the man wants her to, you know, organize his wedding with his new fiancé. But his new wedding is actually an arranged marriage. Lucia, his new fiancé, is actually a lesbian. And he, you know, decides actually to go ahead and help her get her Mexican residency. And in return, he will actually get the opportunity to make his ex-fiancé jealous and hopefully get her back. Yeah, so this was actually the deal between them because in this case, you know, Lucia and the guy that we are talking about, they are roommates. They've been, they been, been roommates for a very long time. And it came to a point, you know, that Lucia is struggling to get, you know, bank to actually to get a bank account, to get her own place because she doesn't have her Mexican residency. So the guy was like, hey, I have a deal for you. You can help me make, you know, make my ex jealous. Hopefully this can, you know, get us back together. And on the other hand, you know, me and you, we can get married and you can get your Spanish residency. At the beginning, of course, Lucia was against it because she didn't want to get into that. But he actually ends up convincing her and seeing that she can gain a lot from this. So she was like, you know what? Okay, let's do it. So meanwhile, you know, they were preparing the wedding. Of course, at this point, the guy's ex was starting to get jealous because she's actually the one who's organizing the wedding. So, you know, she was trying to, you know, have her own confusing doubts about this marriage. She was at the beginning thinking it was fake because of Lucia's, you know, res res residency situation. But after that, she was actually convinced that it was a true marriage. And it, during that whole situation of just planning the wedding and organizing everything and just trying to play everything cool, Lucia actually ends up meeting Ramona yet. Yeah, Yes, they actually end up meeting at a bar and they had an instant connection with one another. As soon as they locked eyes, as soon as they met, you know, they just went from there and things just started to, they just basically just started to date, you know. And of course, Lucia, she had to come clean to uh, Ramona regarding the whole marriage situation. And Ramona was very understanding about it at the beginning. She was very so part of throwers it so every time they would see lucia and ramona together they will basically just introduce themselves as best friends so everyone was like okay they're best friends there's nothing more to them you know but ramona was starting to feel like a little bit uh, how you, how can we say sidelined it because she felt like even though it's an arranged marriage she just felt like it was a little bit too much for her she was okay with it at the beginning you know because at the end of the day you know she is she's thinking about lucia and how much she can gain from that but also at the same time, she was like, wow, this is starting to feel like it's something real. Like you guys are actually really, really getting married. You know, like you guys are going to be together. You know, the way you guys are taking the serious. So Ramona, during that whole situation, she actually ends up deciding to break up with Lucia. And of course, Lucia, she was upset. She was sad because she really liked Ramona. But at the end of the day, she was like, you know, let's just get this over with. Let's just, let's just get the document sealed and signed and, you know, just move forward through this through the situation so i can also figure out what to do but at the end of the day the guy you know who she's gonna get married to which is a very very good person you know he he started to feel a little bit guilty because he felt like you know it is his fault that you know ramona ended their situation with lucia so he decides to do this romantic dinner for them to actually cook because he's a chef you know he does cooking and all of that so he does this nice dinner for them and he actually ends up telling ramona like hey we're sorry for how it's going you know it's just a lot going on i'm trying to get my ex back i feel like she's finally you know 
without getting to the point where she wants me back too and i don't want you to break up with lucia because of this because you know it's not it's fake like we know we don't love each other we care for each other but we we're not in love you know and after that you know uh, ramona actually was like okay you know i'm gonna give it another chance so that's when lucia and ramona actually you know they just got back together and things were okay between them so after that you know that was where the wedding actually begins during the whole wedding ceremony before the wedding ceremony you can actually see that in this case lucia's fake uh fiance actually ends up hooking up with the person who he loves who is the wedding planner and they went through the whole sideline situation and then after that at the wedding you know the girl actually come the wedding planner in this case she comes and she actually reveals her true feelings too in this case lucia's fiance and you know they had a happily happily ever after and at the same time you know lucia and ramona also after they actually signed the paper they got married you know uh she, they also had their kiss in an intimate moment where they made everybody know it's a fake marriage you know even though they already signed the paper and they already got married it just was like okay we both are now with the people that we want to be with we got married i'm gonna get my residency and you got what you wanted you you actually got the person who you love and who you want with back she finally realized that you are the person for her so both of them actually got what they wanted at the end of the day so that was actually a very very good thing to see always and the fact that they only found out the whole family everybody only found out that it was a fake marriage the day of the marriage after they got married at the wedding that for me was truly truly amazing you know because at the end of the day i was very worried that at the end of the day you know lucia she wouldn't get her papers but everything worked out so that was something also very positive to see and yes lucia and ramona they actually do have a happy ending you know that's another reason why i wanted to share this video with you guys because i feel like you know we all know when it comes to the lgbtq community when it comes to couples relationship is very very hard to find happy endings so this one does have a happy ending they look so cute together i was just wishing they would have a little bit more of camera time so we can see them together more just connecting with one another but hey the, uh, the little that we got i feel like it was enough because especially for it being a movie you know if it was a series we probably would have have gotten more content regarding them but once again if you guys want to watch this movie i would 100 percent recommend you all to go do so once again like i said once twice now i'm gonna say it for the last time the movie is called casando ami x marrying my ex and yes you guys can watch this amazing movie once again at prime video yes it's in spanish but you don't have to worry because translation regarding this movie is actually available and i also want to say thank you so much once again for all the love and all the support you guys has been showing on the channel it 100 percent doesn't go unnoticed you know it means the world to me and also drop down below in the comments as well other video ideas that you guys would like to see on the channel so i can go ahead cook it up create it you know any any content list ideas uh, movies reviews tv shows series channel novella whatever you would like to see drop it down below and go watch this movie go support it because i feel like it hasn't been getting a lot of spotlight so hopefully by doing this video you know you guys will actually go and watch this one and go show it much love and much support to this amazing lesbian couple so basically that's it please don't forget to like comment share subscribe until the next video i really really hope you guys enjoyed this one until the next one and goodbye